Hello everybody, Joel here from Golf Monthly and it's day one of the Alfred Dunhill Lynx Championship. It's an incredibly windy day and I'm here in the car park where all the tour trucks are based during the week. But it's Thursday and there's only one tour truck left standing and that is the European Tour Physio Truck. Now with a big focus on fitness these days with professional golfers, this is arguably the truck that gets used the most by the players during the week with guys using it to warm up, cool down and also help with their injuries as well. So I think it's pretty interesting to see exactly what goes on in there. So let's go inside and take a look. So at this end of the unit we have uh, the treatment beds and this is where the, the hands-on side of what we're doing on the unit happens and if players need any particular hands-on treatment it may be just maintenance, soft tissue work, it may be because of acute sudden injuries and we may want to assess them or look at what's going on as well as people with chronic injuries we'll have them up on the beds and it gives us a, a nice space in which we can work with the players. The players like it because we have the ability to have an open environment and they can often be talking to each other and interacting with different therapists and different people and that's one of the things that I think people like coming on the unit for. It's a bit of an oasis away from the rest of the golf course and it's uh, a bit of an opportunity for them to have some downtime with some of the other players away from the cameras and spectators. So we have uh, this area which is the treatment therapy area. As we move down the truck we have the, the gym and rehab area. Uh, we also have uh, lots of different pieces of equipment which will help the players with recovery. One of the things we've been using a lot this year is the compression garments. So we use uh, Normatec, which are the compression leggings, which the players use after they've trained or played. Um, and this just helps with recovery from a variety of different issues which they might have. Then we move down to the, uh, the gym and the uh, exercise rehab part of the truck. There's been a big change in golf over the last sort of, 10, 15 years and more in which strength and conditioning and getting people strong and getting people able to cope with the demands of the golf swing has moved towards uh, Olympic lifting, strength and conditioning and actually uh, things such as using a squat rack, a bench, deadlift trap bar, they're the key components of a good strength and conditioning program now. So for us to have nearly 200 kilos of plateable weight on the truck which players can use throughout the week is really important because the evidence is really pointing towards uh, players maintaining their strength and maintaining strength and conditioning training throughout the week, throughout the season in order to help them to perform at the level that they need to. So this is the sort of equipment that we have here. We've got a variety of different kettlebells, dumbbells. This wall here is a steel reinforced wall, which means that uh, when we use suspension equipment um, and a lot of the resistance bands and things, they can be clipped onto this wall and each one of these holes can take 400 kilos of pulling weight. It's a steel reinforced wall. And uh, it's really nice in that we can very easily move the position of the uh, the position of the clips, so wherever we need to get the, the resistance bands or suspension bands, that can be done across a large area. So we can often get four or five players working off this one wall. So again, it's just making the most of the space that we've got. And uh, lots of different items of kit. We've got resistance bands, therabands, lots of foam rollers, small little bands, which are really important when they're looking at doing movement prep, warm-up exercises and uh, there's a lot of good evidence to show that using foam roll and resistance bands can help to improve your range of movement as well as your immediate golf performance. So another part of the service which we have is that each week a sports medicine doctor is here on site and uh, for two or three days they're able to provide the players with any sort of uh, medical help that they require, both uh, musculoskeletal and just general health problems, flus, colds, coughs, and what we have on, the, on site is also a full uh, uh, pharmacy so that the doctors are able to provide players with tablets and medications straight away. So if they do have a chest infection or a cough or a cold, the doctors have that on site so they can give it to the players straight away. We also have things such as uh, automatic external defibrillators and resus kits should we need anything 
uh, you know, if there are emergency situations with players, spectators or anyone out on the course. We have uh, a couple of bikes, uh, this is really important for the warm up, the players like jumping on here, it gives them an easy way to increase the heart rate and get blood moving, get warm before they start doing some of the movement prep and the more explosive type of warm up activities. Part of uh, what we have on the truck is uh, fully stocked cupboards which enable us to provide all sorts of different treatment options to players for a variety of different common ailments that they might have. We see absolutely loads of blisters and foot problems so we have full ranges of dressings, bandages, um, tapes, anything that we might require uh, to deal with these issues. So it's really important that we have a fully stocked unit because when we might be travelling to different parts around the world it's very difficult for us to access uh, medications and equipment like this so we make sure that we have this at every single event so that the players as soon as they walk in we can deal with it and get them straight back out on the golf course. So we see a few key areas that get a lot of the injuries which would be the low back, shoulder, wrist and hips they tend to be the key areas and that's just because of the nature of the golf swing and the forces that go through the body and as players are becoming stronger, more powerful and the game is becoming about hitting it a long way that needs a lot of speed those forces increase exponentially and put a lot more force through the, the areas that take that, which is wrists, hips, low back and shoulders. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed that short tour of the European Tour physio unit. Nigel gave us some great insight into what goes on on that truck and the kind of injuries golfers get and how they overcome them. So if you did like the video, be sure to click the like button down below and of course, comment on the video, tell us what you liked about it. The more views we get, the more likely we are to get more exclusive access to these kind of trucks these kind of opportunities to bring you the best golfing content out there. So that's it for this video, but be sure to check back to our YouTube channel very soon because we'll have some exclusive videos from Nigel himself demonstrating the best exercises you can do to improve your golf game. They really are not to be missed. If you want to make sure you don't miss any of our videos, you can click the subscribe button and you'll get a notification every time a new video lands. But for now, it's goodbye.